Happiest of Saturdays, folks. It is Nicolasa, and I'm joining you on my deck this Saturday. Um, I probably should be in the house because pollen is extremely high in the city that I live in. Um, and I really just should, you can hear it, I should be in the house. But I love outside, so I'm outside. Let's hope I make it through the video with them um, uninterrupted. I have a Speedy 35 Mono on the right with a Speedy 30 and Damier Azure on the left. Um, I normally carry my Damier Azure during these months because it's the spring and I bring that out um, in the springtime and I carry that for a couple of months and then I switch out into my Neo Noe um, that I got for my birthday in June. Um, but I'm here to do a little bit of a comparison of the two of these and really not a comparison, but more, I have a question. And I kind of wanted to document this because I want to document the difference in these two speedies. One is from 1990. I think that's this one. I know that's this one. I, I meant, I think it's from 1990 and not 1991, but 1990. And this one is from 20, I don't know. I'm going to look at the tag in just a second. Um, I want to document the differences in the two because one of them is considered vintage and I noticed a big difference in it in a positive way. Like it's made with so much quality and I want to kind of, you know, ask you guys if you've seen that same thing. If you look at my tags, my tags are similar. Um, one says Paris though and the other one right here just Louis Vuitton. I love it. I love this one. Um, I bought this off of buy, sell, trade, and it was listed in excellent condition with very small hairline, um, fractures or what have you here. Um, you have to look to find them and you have to be kind of like being anal. And I was, I actually <clears throat> have this for sale because I, I don't know why I have this for sale, but I'm, I'm I think I'm going to keep this. I'm, I've grown to love this a lot. Um, this one, not so much for sale ever. I love this um, this one. The next thing I want to compare with you. Now, this made in France. Now, you see how this says whatever. It just says Paris. Um, this one says made in France on the interior, on the pocket. And so, that's different because I've seen some of them, um, even in the 90s, say made in France or made in wherever right on the tag tab so anyway if you know the difference in that please let me know again um made in 1990 this um guy here too the next biggest difference is going to be my my handles you guys know that the puff chaps are um a product of the new speedies i don't care about that i know that i have a flat chap here um you would from 1990 for sure um that's not what i'm talking about the actual handle like this handle is bendable. I can bend it. I literally can maneuver it, whatever. This one, I can't. I can't. And I'm, you know, I'm not going to go at it, but I cannot bend this handle. And, and that I love. And you can see the quality of that handle. Like, I'm not going to get that again. So like, if I get this replaced or anything like that, like, I'm not going to get that. So um, that's part of the reason I want to keep it too. I want to keep this in its original form. Even if I get <clears throat> the, ta um, the sides, which don't need it, but say I did want to get, look at that, look how beautiful honey patina. You see that little crack right there? Those little things irritate me. So, um, and I know over time they get worse. So probably I will get this replaced, but then it's going to be bumping up against this honey patina tab and that's gonna bother me so that's kind of where I was going with it all right moving along so the the handles big deal in terms of the quality to me the quality over here is superb I am using this right now so it's loaded with my stuff this one has a um, <clears throat> pillow inside the pull tab I've got a little bit of a watermark there um, pull tab wonderful condition of course because this one is newer and it's got the leather on both sides. So leather on the front, leather on the back, okay? Definitely nothing wrong here. I don't put my lock here so that it doesn't pull on this. I hate that. Um, I don't even use a lock on this. Um, and I decided to take it off. I, I normally have it here, but it was resting against my leather. And I don't 
like that. So I just pulled, I pulled the lock off altogether. It's just for a look, first of all. Okay, this one, pull tab. <clears throat> to be so old, she looks amazing. But you could see that she has hairline crack here. I could, of course, a little leather glue, but um, I'm thinking about replacing that. But then again, like I said, I'm not gonna get this. I'm not gonna get this. And you note here, this is a definite line like this is. You see how this is a line here? These are some of the things you use to determine if the item is authentic. Pull line. I'm sorry, the pull tab has like an indented line. Okay, here I have um, hairline, hairline cracks. Look at that. So that's what's kind of bothering me. Those types of things right there, like they bother me. Other people are like, no, that's part of the character of the bag and part of the beauty. Notice how <clears throat> the older Louis Vuitton have like a little bit of a green heel. If you could see it, you see that it has like a little bit of a green heel. How I know as well is because I have a 1980s and I'm going to make this video only 10 minutes, guys. I have a 1980s Louis Vuitton. Look at how green that looks. Look at how green. Um, 1980 Trous. Look at how, now this one looks even greener. Now that's from the 90s. This is from the 80s. You that's know green. that from the um, button here that says Eclair. So that's definitely dating this baby to the 80s. So um, definitely um, see that this one has that same green hue. And um, that's kind of what I wanted to point out too. Let me get inside real quick and then I'm going to like ask, I, I really p highlighted the differences here. Um, <clears throat> I love both Speedy 30 and 35. On the interior, I always make it a point to carry a um, organizer in my bag uh, for a Speedy because it's a big black hole. If you don't have an organizer, you are up, you know what's creek. Um, my organizers are from um, <clears throat> Etsy, a place called Divide and Conquer. Absolutely love this lady. Um, she's awesome, and her her items are are amazing. I love it because it's not that peeling material that you can sometimes get with uh, Samorga or any of those other ones. Divide and Conquer. Okay. Anyway, um, on the interior, as you can see, um, you've got the zipper pocket for this one. All right, because the newer ones have the interior zipper pocket, whereas the older ones have the slip. They just slip pocket. And if I get in here and take a look at my date, and I'm going to wrap this up soon, I promise. Um, you'll see that this was made in 2016, the 20th week of 2016. Okay, so fairly newer when it comes down to... Um, the age of the bag versus this one. This one, let's get inside. I'm not even gonna try to put that back in there. I'm trying to hold my tripod um, with one hand. Okay, I have a pillow in here. Just one second. Get in here. My zipper is okay. It's just that with the pillow inside, it seems to not want to zip on me. Okay, let me turn this around. You see how this says made in France right on the slip pocket that's what I was talking about and even this the interior line pocket is still in excellent condition some of the newer ones are peeling especially on the ne never full so quality definitely uh, a difference let me get back <coughs> sorry about that I'm gonna flip this up and as you can see this was made in the fifth uh, month, I believe, of 1990. Because I believe they used to go by month and then they went by the um, week, okay? So either the fifth week of 1990 or the fifth month of 1990. Um, look at that, look at the quality. I mean, it's just superb, it's superb. So, um, you guys, let me know if you know anything about the 1990s difference in the Speedies. Um, I'm so tempted to just keep this because she's beautiful. All right, I'm gonna wrap it up. My kids have decided to come outside um, on this Saturday. Okay, one second. So, looking side by side. <clears throat> that's what you have, the Speedy 30, Speedy 35. 
All right, folks, leave me a comment down below if you can help me or just let me know what I should do with my 1990s bag. Have a great Saturday. You guys rock.